Hi guys, what's up? For those who are new here, hi, I'm Urmi. And today I'm going to be filming the first video in a series that I'm planning to do on this YouTube channel, which is going to be top 10 of my favorite makeup products. So to begin with, I have stuck to my most favorite makeup product ever, which is blush. I've only applied sunscreen on my skin today and as you can see, my skin is going through it. But I also have a little bit of mascara and lipstick on me. I wanted to keep my face bare because I wanted to show you how these blushes look on natural skin. To be very honest, I don't have 10 blushes, I have 12. But I could not get myself to cut one or two of these. This list is my absolute ride or die and there are quite a few more that I have. So let me know after watching this video if you'd like a part 2 of this video and I'll definitely definitely make one. There's no particular order in which I'm going to show you the blushes. So it's not like the first blush I show you is my favorite and the last is my least favorite. It's just a random order. But I think I'm going to alternate between one powder and one cream blush because I think that's just going to make it a little bit more interesting. So yeah, let's just get started. First up, I have the K-Beauty Cream Blush in the shade Sweetheart Pink. This is a brand by Katrina Kath and Nika. It's their joint venture. And this shade in particular, Sweetheart Pink, is a really nice muted mauve sort of a shade. This blush is also really pigmented, so I'm going to take just a little bit and dot it on my cheekbones. This is where I like to place my blush. My favorite way to actually blend this is just to use my fingers and sort of dab the blush into place. As you can see, it's extremely, extremely pigmented. I'm going to leave one side of my skin bare and one side with the blush on so you can see the difference that it makes on my face. The only thing about this blush, however, is that it does not last very long. So you might have to reapply a powder blush on top of this. I'm also going to be cleansing between each blush shade, of course, because I don't want to misguide you into thinking a blush looks like something it does it on my skin. The next two blushes that I have are from Colorbar. Colorbar has actually really surprised me in the last couple of months because I've been loving and gravitating towards their products a lot. So the first one that I have is in the shade Pink Pinch. It's the number 8 blush. And the one that I have here is Timeless Rouge. This is my favorite, favorite color ever. It's in the shade number 1. And they stay for really, really long. I might as well show you one on this cheek and one on this uh, so that you can see both of them. My favorite way to apply a powder brush is actually to use a kabuki brush like this and go straight in with a little bit of product because this is also really pigmented. You don't need to dip into the blush again because this is very, very pigmented. You can see how much I've used this. I've had this for quite a long time now. I hope it's not expired, but I don't care. I love it so, so much. This is what Timeless Rouge looks like and this is what Pink Pinch looks like. As you can see, Pink Pinch, it's a really nice Barbie pink if I can say. And this one is a little more mauve. The next liquid blush is this Makeup Revolution Super Dewy Blush in the shade Flushing For You. That's so cute. And this is actually my second bottle of this. It is very similar to the K-Beauty one but I think it lasts a lot longer than K-Beauty. Again, using my fingers. Sometimes I like to use my beauty blender to blend out my blushes also. However, beauty blenders do soak in liquid blushes and your fingers don't. But the stain on your fingers from the liquid blushes is a little tough to get rid of. This one is actually a lot warmer than the K-Beauty shade that I showed you. This has an orange undertone, that one had a cool undertone. The next blush I'm going to show you is actually the first blush I ever bought back in... I'm not even sure, like a very long time ago. And that is the MAC Matte Powder Blush in the shade Desert Rose. This is actually a cult favorite blush for so, so many YouTubers and myself. I love it so much actually that once when I thought that I lost this, I actually went ahead and bought myself a second one before finding this one again. For this blush, I'm going to take a smaller brush because I just don't want the colors to transfer here and there. You can tell how pigmented that is. I have a really nice mix of high-end and drugstore makeup products for you guys. I always hesitate in buying um, higher-end makeup because it feels like an investment, a bigger, bigger investment than drugstore makeup. I think I've applied a little too much but I don't mind it at all. There's a reason for this to be a cult favorite. 
Next up, I have another high-end makeup product, but this is also a cult favorite. This is the Benefit Penitent. This is actually a lip and cheek tint. I also have the Pixie Tint, Posy Tint it is called, but I left that out of the list because I think it's a little too light for Indian skin tones. For me as well, it's a little too light. So I'm just gonna take a little bit and apply it like that and spread it out with my fingers itself. The rose smell just hits you out of nowhere. Can you tell what a lovely red blush this is? You can of course build it up and it's a very watery texture. It does not stay for a very long time but it gives you such a natural finish that you can't even tell that you're wearing blush on your skin. I promise I'm cleaning my face after each blush but um, my skin is such that even if you touch it, it'll get red. So this is just redder than this side uh, because that is how my skin is. Anyway, next up is the Huda Beauty 3D Highlighter Palette. It's actually a highlighter palette, but it has a really pretty blush shade in it as well. You can see how much I've used this shade because it's really stunning. But I'm talking about this one today. So I'm going to take just a little bit like that. That's what it looks like. And I'm going to apply it on my cheek. And you can see the instant glow that I have now. You might have to build it up slightly because it's supposed to be a highlighter. So to get it to work as a blush, you might have to build it up. This is what it looks like. It's really stunning in my opinion. And it gives you a really nice glow from within kind of look as well. I'm very worried about the sun setting on me and I want to show you all of these in natural lighting. So I'm probably going to hurry up a little bit. A blush that actually actually surprised me was the Ilana Dream Blush. This is in the shade Blush Peachy Peach or just Peachy Peach I think. All the blushes that I've shown you till now I think are a little towards the pinker side. That's because I prefer pink. I'm a pink person in general. If you've seen any of my videos you'd know. But this is a really really pretty orange toned blush. This also comes in a squeeze bottle like the Makeup Revolution and the K-Beauty one. I think I've taken a little too much, but as you know, I'm not worried about that. I think orange suits Indian skin tones more than pink does, and it looks absolutely stunning. I think I've intentionally saved one of my favorite blushes towards the end of the video. This is the Pixie Glow Stick in the shade Fleur. It's an absolutely stunning, stunning blush stick. I recently saw a post, actually my best friend Kenjal sent it to me, or I sent it to her, I don't remember, but it was about a bronzer stick launching in this same range. So I cannot find it in India, but I would love, love to give it a try. So this is what the blush stick looks like. You take the lid off and then you roll this to get the product out. It's so stunning. I'm just gonna apply it from this itself. Oof. Wow, it's so, so, so nice. This one actually lasts on your skin for the longest time and even if you put powder on this blush, the glow does not go away. I'm gonna again go in with the unused side of my beauty blender so as to not mix the shades and then just blend it in. Even though it does not need a lot of blending because the applicator is so, so nice at doing that itself. Can you see the glow that I have on my face when I turn my face? This is I think one of the most dewy blushes that I have. The most if I'm not wrong. Next up, I have another powder blush from a brand that I have been gravitating towards quite a lot. It is Drew Barrymore's brand called Flower Beauty. And Drew Barrymore, I think, is one of the most stunning actresses out there. I mean, 50 First Dates, who did not love that movie? Her products are amazing and the price point is also really, really nice. I've been trying to get my hands on a lot more of those products to share with you guys. So let's see when that video happens. But this is her face palette set and I'm talking about this blush right here. It's the most stunning blush. Oof. Can you tell? It has a really, really nice neutral undertone. I won't say that this is too cool or too warm. I can feel myself falling in love with Flower Beauty even though I've used only like three products of theirs. I had actually shown you this palette in one of my older videos which was the beginner's makeup kit. So if you haven't seen that video yet, I'm going to link it in the eye which is right here or right there, I'm not sure. I actually just bought the Swiss Beauty Cream and Tint Blush in the shade Coral Candy and it took me I think a minute to decide that this is going to be one of my favourites. This is what it looks like, it comes in a pot like that and it's very tough with my nail but 
this is one of those blushes for days when you don't want to wear a lot of blush you just want to maybe wear a very bronzy contoured look wow it has done such a good job of just bronzing up and warming up my face this even lasts for really long which is quite surprising actually because i've never used swiss beauty products ever and i think i might just start using them so before the sun completely sets on me i'm going to breeze through here i have the Too Faced natural face palette this is the palette that i used in my most recent mandy makeup look if you haven't seen that then i'm going to leave that again in the description box below or in the eye above here or here this is what this palette looks like it's absolutely stunning i love 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 how it looks it has really nice bronzer shades blush shades and highlighter shades but we're going to focus on these two blushes this blush at the top is a really nice barbie pink again and this one is a really nice cute one but what i like to do with this palette is actually mix the two so i just do this a little bit of that and it's so pigmented like that's all i had to do to get that pigment on my face the smell of this palette also is so 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 sweet i love it but this palette mind you stays on your skin for a really long time like you have to double cleanse to get that makeup off of your skin i'm also going to be applying sunscreen after each step because i'm sitting bang opposite the sun i'm very paranoid that way right in time for sunset i have the last blush in today's list i've kept this one for the end for a reason because once i apply it it's not coming off for a really really long time and i'm not exaggerating this is the rare beauty lush in the shade encourage unfortunately unfortunately it's not available in india i think there are a few instagram pages that do sell this blush so i'm going to do a little bit of research and link them in the description box below if i find some legit sellers but this is the most stunning blush the bottle itself is so so pretty along with this i also got their concealer which is unfortunately too light for me anyway this is the doe foot applicator that it comes in and you just need really really little like this is also a lot but i'm just going to do it on both sides because this is the end of the video now and i'm going to take my brush because i can't find my beauty blender and just blend it into my that honestly has the maximum pigment and the least effort put behind it if you've seen my other videos you know that i don't like to stop my blushes here i like to go right across so that's it for this video you guys i really hope you got some insight into your next blush purchase let me know which one looked the best on me and which one you liked the most in the comment section down below also if you have any blush recommendations please please feel free to leave them in the comment section below for a part 2 of this video or just for me to try because i'm blush fanatic As for this series that I very briefly mentioned, I'm going to continue doing that. Anyway, my cheek is actually sore from all of the blushes that I have tried on and wiped away, so I'm going to take a little bit of a nap now. I really hope you like this video and you want to stick around to watch more of my videos. If you do, then please, please, please hit the subscribe button down below. Also, don't forget to like this video if you liked it and share it with people if you want to give them some makeup suggestions as well. I really believe in the power of makeup therapy, so you might. just be making somebody stay i will see you guys in my next video very very soon bye bye